ever been on a cruise, then you know that your cabin can well get, be quite cramped at times. So in this video, we are going to share with you 16 things that you should bring on your next cruise to make your cabin more comfortable. If you're like me, your time is very valuable, so we are going to give these to you in rapid fashion. Now, don't worry about writing them all down, because if you would like, we do have in the description below a link to our packing list, and our packing list has all these things on them, so you don't need to write anything down. So let's get right into this. Number one, bring some of these binder clips. And people are like, what in the world do I need these for? Well, you can use them for a lot of things, but a lot of people, what they do is they clip these to their shower curtain. And so it provides a little bit more weight and that way the water is not running out all over the floor. Now these are medium size. I actually like the large size better. Um, they hold a little bit better, so I would suggest large. Also, I've heard that people actually use these to prop open the refrigerator a little bit. It gets more circulation and the refrigerator stays colder. Number two, consider a pop-up laundry bag, or if you don't want to buy one, you can simply bring a large kitchen trash bag for all your dirty clothes. Number three on the list, I think this is a must have, and that is magnet hooks. Now, most of the cabins, they're going to have metal doors, metal walls, metal ceilings, so you can actually put these magnets on the wall, and even on the ceiling, um, the hooks can drop down, and you can hang your swimming suits on there to let them dry. You can put your lanyards on there. Make sure you get the heavy ones, because you do want something that is gonna give you a good, strong hold. Be careful though when you get the ones for heavy duty because if you stick them together, they're sometimes hard to pull apart. So definitely you want to get some magnet hooks for your cabin. Number four, consider bringing a fan. Sometimes your cabin can get very stuffy and a little travel fan, um, one with a clip on the end of it, can help keep your room circulated. Number five is consider bringing a flashlight or some kind of small battery operated reading lamp. Now, a lot of people just prefer to use their phone and that's okay, but at the dollar store, I was able to find this nice little reading lamp um, that operates on three batteries or something that's kind of romantic and sweet is if you wanted to put um, some tea lights in your cabin. So any of those options are good, but it's nice to have a little bit of extra light at nighttime when all the lights go out and you can't see a thing. Number six, consider bringing some disinfectant spray or some wipes. Now, I know cruising's gonna start again and our rooms are going to be so clean. Everything on the ship is going to be so clean. But if you're like us and you like to just have that fresh wipe down right when you come in the, in the cabin, then you can go ahead and you can bring you some wipes or disinfectant spray. Now, obviously, if you're flying, you're not gonna be able to bring aerosol, but if you are driving, they will let you on ship with this. Now, speaking of fresh and clean, we do know that, again, our cabins are very small and the bathroom is well connected to where our beds are. Um, so, hey, I suggest that you bring some poopery or some kind of good smell good spray. When you have to stink up that bathroom, spray a little bit of that, it'll make your spouse very, very happy. Number eight, consider bringing a sleep mask and earplugs. Now, the sleep mask, maybe your uh, spouse wants to stay up late and watch TV, but you wanna get to bed, throw on your sleep mask, throw on your earplugs, and you're good to go. Or maybe you just really, really need those earplugs to help you sleep with your snoring spouse. Number nine, consider bringing a whiteboard or some post-it notes. Now, this is a fun way to leave notes either for your cabin steward or for somebody else that's sharing a room with you. You can get one like this at the Dollar Tree. And this is my shameless plug to subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already done so, we would really greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's get back into it. Number 10, you need to bring a non-surge protected power strip or cube. We like this one right here from Cruise On. You plug it in, there's the back. Uh, you plug it into the one outlet when you're on your cruise ship and then it gives you an additional three outlets that you can use. Um, and then we'll have two USBs where you can be charging your phone. So this is really good. It's very small, doesn't take up much space. Definitely need one of those. Number 11, consider bringing a Bluetooth speaker. You know, obviously you don't want your music playing too loud on the cabins, 
But if you have a good Caribbean playlist or just something that you really like, bring a speaker and you can listen to it while you're in your cabin. Number 12, consider bringing some Ziploc bags, probably gallon size or larger is what you need. You can use those for anything. You can use them for dirty clothes, for swimwear, for wet things. You can use them to protect, protect things from getting wet. Uh, people put snacks in them all kinds of different things, you definitely want to bring some Ziploc bags. Number 13, consider bringing some bin organizers. You can buy these at Dollar Tree for a dollar and they're super helpful. They can stack up on top of each other. So even, for example, if you have kids, they can put some of their personal items in there. Um, they just stack really nice. It's just a great way to organize your cabin and make things a little bit more efficient. Speaking of organizing, we recommend that you bring an over-the-door shoe organizer. Now, this isn't necessarily for your shoes, although it can be, uh, but a lot of people use this. They put it over the door in the bathroom, and they put a lot of their personal hygiene in there or their jewelry or little small things that they don't really have a place for. It gets it up out of the way, so that is a great add-on to have. Number 15, you want to consider bringing a small alarm clock. Again, a lot of people use our phones, which is what we do, but some people just like the having the assurance of a small little alarm clock setting by their bed. Number 16, you might want to consider bringing something to decorate your door. Even if it's a small little thing, hey, at least when you're out at night and you're coming home, your door is very easy to recognize. Now, in this video, we have covered things that you need to bring to help you be more comfortable while you're in your cabin. The next video that's coming out, we're going to be discussing personal things that you need to bring with you to make your whole cruise experience more enjoyable. So if you think that this content was valuable, please hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. We'll have a new video coming out in just a few days. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you on the sea soon. God bless.